Hi everyone, I'm Callie. Welcome back into the channel. Today we're playing the final episode of Mass Effect 3. It's kind of bittersweet to say that this will be the final episode. I'm not ready to let go. I've kind of been grasping at every last moment that I can. I think doing that kind of helped me prepare for today, but I still feel like I just am not ready to let this world go. It's been amazing. Bittersweet, amazing, perfect. More than I ever expected this game to be. I walked into this trilogy not really knowing what to expect i knew that it was a space game and there were space elements to it so that's what caught my eye but i had no idea the depth and the decision making and the character development that i was just going to absolutely fall in love with <gasps> oh it's it's decision based let's go that's cool cut the chatter so thank you so much to Bioware for making this amazing game. I cannot wait to hop into hopefully the next one whenever it finally comes out. I know that there have been a lot of people asking if I'm going to play Andromeda. The answer is yes, but I will not be putting it on YouTube. I would like to spend some time without any expectations going into it. Overall, it didn't get a very great response from YouTube. If I've learned anything being on YouTube and being in this trilogy, sometimes you gotta pick and choose your battles. I think I am just going to play that one on my own free time. But I definitely do plan on checking it out to kind of ease my pain and tied me over until hopefully the next Mass Effect comes out whenever that is. I've also gotten a ton of comments asking if I'm going to try out any other Bioware games like Dragon Age and the answer is yes. I will be playing some Dragon Age. I have some bigger titles that I would love to get through this rest of the winter going into spring summertime but possibly by the end of this year I will be hopping into Dragon Age which I am excited to explore. I've heard really really good things about the lore in that one too and I love everything that Bioware put into this game so I'm sure that I will love playing another Bioware game and checking it out for the first time too. But I feel like we're coming down to the end of the wire here. I know that I need to do one last Normandy tour and talk to everybody because I was not in the mental state to do that last time. After our conversation with the elusive man, I just wanted to sign off and come into today fresh and talk to everybody on the Normandy before we set out for the next mission, our last mission, to hopefully defeat the Reapers. And I am in my shepherd gear today. I was gonna make a cosplay and I actually started it. As you members know, I have posted my journey along the very intense <laughs> cosplay making but I ended up getting sick with COVID and a couple other colds since December so I have been taking a beating while playing Mass Effect 3. It's been a really really rough winter here. I do plan on still finishing it. I even bought like spray paint to make it the color of my shepherd's armor and I was very 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 excited about it but I was not able to get it done in time which super bums me out. Hopefully you all understand and I'm just kind of sporting her casual look today instead i wasn't aware my hair up but i look strange with my hair all the way up in a ponytail and her little like wispies just didn't work out i tried it it was weird i just chose not to before we step foot into the final episode i do want to say thank you all so much for following me on this journey thank you for the comments thank you for the likes thank you for having debates in the comment section and keeping this intriguing and opening my mind to all different kinds of possibilities i think that's the one thing that i love the most about this game is the dialogue that it opens up not only in the game but in real life too i have seen you all out there commenting with one another and i just couldn't be more happy that I provided a gameplay that makes you guys want to post paragraphs in the comment section. I think that it's really, really awesome. So I just want to say thank you so much for all of the time and love that you put into these videos because it also helped shape my playthrough into one of the most amazing playthroughs that I have ever had in any game. Thank you, Mass Effect community, and I hope that you do continue to Stick around on this channel after for some of my gamer poop reactions and also heading into Dragon Age. But I think I'm rambling because I'm nervous about starting the final episode, so I should probably go now and I will see you all in there. All right, so I'm just gonna start back on the first floor. I think we checked our messages, but then I just kind of had enough and I stepped out from there. <laughs> Yeah, we read the message that we had. 
Ready whenever you are, Commander. Specialist trainer. I'm all right, really. I'm as surprised about it as you are, but I'm all right. Thanks for your service. You'll do fine. Yeah, thanks for your service. If it wasn't for a trainer, we wouldn't have gotten half of the information that we did in the time that we needed to get it in. She ha has definitely been on top of things since she's been working on the Normandy. She's so smart and so so observant and has made all of the right calls for us. Your credit to your uniform, Samantha. I had a very compelling example. Commander. I love Trainer. All right, let's go pop in with Joker and Edie. Is he drinking? You remember our first run to Eden Prime all those years ago? With that Tory inspector watching us? Yeah. Nihilus. Nihilus, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I told you that mission was going to be bigger than we thought. You were right. You said a lot of things. It's so true. It's funny thinking back now when I first met Joker and the things that I said about him, I was like, I don't know about this guy. He seems like he can't stop joking and he can't take things seriously. But he's one of those people that grow on you in all the ways once you get to know them. I could not have made it through any of this without Joker. And he's very quickly become one of my top favorite people. I think that the bonding after everything that happened in the beginning of Mass Effect 2 is what ultimately just, just made me appreciate Joker so much more. But yeah, I'm gonna get on him. He said a lot of things. You also said that specters were trouble and you didn't like having them on board. True. Well, based on the mission records, I stand by the first part of that statement. As for the second, it's been an honor, Commander. Same here, Joker. I don't know how it's gonna end, but whatever happens. What do you mean, whatever happens? Everyone knows what's gonna happen. You're gonna kick some Reaper ass. That's what you do. <laughs> and I'll be flying you there in style. You remember to zip up your jumpsuit on the way out of the bathroom? That's good. I just jumped us halfway across the galaxy and hit a target the size of a pinhead. So that's incredible. Besides, specters are trouble. I don't like having them on board. Call me paranoid. You're paranoid. Why does it feel like everyone is saying goodbye to us right now? I... Commander? I can't handle. The Normandy is ready, Shepard. All systems are armed, all ammunition is loaded, all reloads have been manufactured. Thruster fuel is at maximum. Cyber warfare suites have evolved in ways that would be computationally impossible to predict. I have also kissed Joker for luck. Aww. How's your focus, Edie? Any big questions? No. Any small questions? No. Any lingering issues? About what? An imperfect designer who could be seen as a warped father figure, maybe? <laughs> Definitely not. <laughs> Did something prompt this line of questioning? I've just learned you have to ask about these things. It's very true. The Normandy is ready, Shepard. Especially after what we learned back at Cerberus headquarters. I was a little bit shocked about learning that Edie was the one responsible for a lot of our hardship back in Mass Effect of uh, 1 and 2, but yeah, I, I understand it, especially after she explained it. She didn't really know what she was doing. All right, let's go pop in with Ashley. Cerberus is well and truly gone. Look, I, I don't want to get into it again, but I'm glad you had a hand in shutting them down for good felt right you know yeah that's why i almost brought ashley with me on the last mission because i wanted her to see us holding the gun that ultimately destroyed cerberus i thought it was important for her to see so it's actually very it's very cool that she just said that never thought i'd see the end of cerberus good riddance we did some good over there commander all right, so let's go pop in with Dr. Chakwas. I feel like everyone is kind of saying goodbye to us, and I don't, I'm not ready. You've come a long way since those days under Captain Anderson. It has been my great honor to be with you through this journey. I'm proud of you. Thank you, Doctor. Goodbye, Shepard, and good luck. 
Yeah, that's definitely what's happening. Oh boy, I don't think I'm ready. Let's go see Liara. The private messages terminal has new correspondence. Okay, this thing. Email from Captain A. Reynolds to Miranda Lawson. A. Reynolds. Who is that? Uh, Ms. Lawson, the Alliance wishes to express its gratitude for your assistance. With the information you've been sending us on Cerberus, we've been able to avoid ambushes they were setting up for our supply convoys. We'd offer you additional resources, but I understand you've procured a Class F private fighter and joined up with former colleagues. I also understand that several Cerberus bases were lost after being attacked by a reported group of private special operatives of no known affiliation. The Alliance cannot officially condone this kind of independent operation, nor do we actually confirm that these operations are taking place. <laughs> confirm nor, de or, nor deny. Good, uh, good luck, Miss Lawson. Who is Captain A. Reynolds? I don't think I really know who that is. How are you doing, Liara? Fine. I'm more worried about you than I am me. It's ridiculous, isn't it? Just tell me when you're ready to go. The elusive man thinks he's ready for us. Let's not keep him waiting. We can do this, Shepard. We can do this, Shepard. I think we can too. I hope we can. The love with Liara has definitely picked up. The cutscenes were all worth the struggles that I had originally with Liara. I know I voiced some concerns about picking her as my final romance, but everything that has happened lately with the DLC and the last scene in the last episode definitely made up for some of the more awkward and maybe not so satisfying moments. I'm glad that I decided to stick it out with Liara. Oh! Uh, we were just, uh... I, I, well, I, I just, uh, I came to say goodbye and... Well, oh my god. Uh, I uh, think one of my mandibles got hooked <laughs> on the helmet. It might have caused a rupture, so I, I asked him to check. <laughs> well, you, you know, because of infection risks, didn't mm. want to jeopardize the mission. Mm -hmm. So... Yeah. Um... I'm really happy for you. Both of you. Thanks, Shepard. <laughs> Appreciate it. Guess it helps to have something to come back to. I was not expecting what do you this. To come back to. This is just a fling, Bakarian. I'm using you for your body. Tally. You're so mean. And I'm okay with that. <laughs> I was not expecting this at all. It kind of makes sense, though. And honestly, I am happy for them. I think that they fit very well together. I just wasn't even. I had no idea that. Wow, I am shocked right now. <laughs> At least we finally killed Lieutenant Bastard Kai Lang. I just hope we get to do the same to his general. It's kind of amazing how everything's come full circle. I the agree. Citadel's been the center of galactic civilization, a reaper trap, and my source of employment for a long time. Yeah. And now it's our salvation for any chance at winning this war. I think it's time we got you back home, Shepard. Earth will either be remembered as the place we beat the reapers, or it'll be a smoking ruin for the next cycle to wonder about. It's morbid, but very true. It could go either way. I just hope that I make the right decisions to make it be the former and not the latter. Kill us a lie, Shepard. Kill us a lie, Shepard. Maybe later. I can't believe they're together. And then Tally to just like friend zone him. <laughs> that was amazing. Go them. I'll just leave you guys. Uh in here <laughs> i'm really happy for them though i wish that would have happened a long time ago it would have been really neat to see their banter back and forth and their their relationship grow all right is anybody else on this floor i think we've talked with everybody all right so let's go down to the engineering deck you'll see if javik has anything to say I am prepared for whatever lies ahead, Commander. The Reapers have haunted the galaxy long enough. It is time to end the nightmare. Yeah. The deaths of my soldiers will be avenged. The events of the Cronian Nebula will not have been in vain. The last Prothean awaits your command. 
Wow. There was no final battle against the Reapers in my cycle. A great moment lies before you, Commander. There was no final battle against the Reapers in my cycle. A great moment lies before you, Commander. Javik has to be feeling all of the feelings right now as we head into our final fight against the Reapers. He can finally get some revenge. Good luck with the assault. Wish I was joining you. No, you don't. I've seen you shoot. <laughs> Fine. Then I wish I could shoot better. <laughs> then I wish I was joining you. Take care, Shepard. You too, Donnelly. The Normandy is ready to go, Commander. Give the word and we'll get you to Earth. And Commander, it's been such an honor to be a part of the team. Likewise, Gabby. Good luck and be careful, okay? Yes, ma'am. Oh my gosh, it feels like we're just like heading into battle again. It's, it's so surreal. Commander, the Normandy is as ready as she'll ever be. That goes double for my team. We're prepared for whatever hits us. And Commander, whatever happens today, it has been an honor and privilege to serve with you. The honor's been mine, Adams. Give them hell, ma'am. Oh, this is crazy. All right, let's go see what Allers is saying. Probably that we're about to go. Have you found the store in Thessia yet? No, I'm trying to word it right. What happens if you word it wrong? If I'm lucky, the Citadel Stock Exchange drops 2,000 extra points. And if you're unlucky? I don't know. I've never really been unlucky. I feel like that wasn't the right, I've already heard that conversation. Okay. Maybe there's just no new dialogue, so it's like recycling through. I'm surprised she doesn't have anything else to say. Maybe I'll pop back in with her before we head out for good, but I'll go down to the shuttle bay first. Gotta say bye to our dog. Good dog. What did we end up naming him? I think it was Chonkers. I'm pretty sure it was Chonkers. Reviewing our maintenance schedules one more time. Ma'am. Ma'am. All right, let's go see James. Sticking it to that bastard Kai Lang must have felt good. It did. It certainly did. Just wish we'd have caught up to the elusive man before he could screw us over again. You and me both. Well, at least we get to head back to Earth. I've been asking for it. I just hope I'm going to make those Reapers pay for everything they've done. Yeah. Hey. Yeah, I did feel good to get Kai Ling, and the death was pretty satisfying, I'm not gonna lie. Punching his samurai sword in half and then just saying, like, this is for Thane. It was very, very good death for him. <laughs> All right, let's go see if this kicks off anything with Allers. I'm just surprised she didn't say anything You're about... Right. I'm a colony kid, Shepard. Beckenstein was right next door to the Citadel. Was? Was. I'm sorry. The Reapers didn't even land on it to harvest. Just took a few shots from space. You know, because the Reapers hit industrial centers. And we have factories that make binoculars. Had factories. We're gonna beat them. Yeah. All right, so there was some extra dialogue. It was just like weirdly kind of bugged out. <laughs> I'm glad I didn't run out the door again. I would have missed it. You've got new messages, Commander. I do. Normal is the best revenge. Oh, it's from Diana. I literally just talked to you. What? Commander, I don't know if you're aware how much you mean to people, but I am. The things I see in Battlespace's mailbox could make a geth grow tear, tear ducks. <laughs> page after page of people asking you to go save their mother's planet, or the homeworld they outgrew, or the mining colony they sank their fortunes into. They don't know that you can't do it all. They just know Commander Shepard beat a reaper once and you can do it. I know how they feel when I heard about Beckenstein. It's like all of my nerves in my body were cut. But I need to believe that this isn't the end. 
I need to believe that you're going to destroy the Reapers, and I'm going to film it as it happens. And when the fight is over and my signal goes out on the tight beam, people are going to come together from all over the galaxy. I just got chills from that. You're going to watch from their couches and they'll celebrate. And one day they'll laugh again. The laughing part is important. I want you to make it all normal again, Shepard, because that's the best revenge I can think of. That was a really good email. P.S. If I end up making it out of this, but you don't, I'll make sure that you get a hero's funeral and a Beckenstein wake. That's like an Irish wake, but not as sober and reserved. <laughs> that sounds like the best way to go, honestly. All right. Commander. I think it's time. I think it's officially time to go back to Earth and try to stop this once and for all. I'm not sure who I'm going to bring with me yet. I know I want to bring Liara, but... I'm torn on the second. I, I don't know if I should be Garrus or James because James has been asking to go to Earth for so long now. But Garrus and Tally are my my OGs. Oh my gosh. And look, you can't even visit any of the places anymore. There's just Reapers everywhere. An alliance ship? Commander, you've got a priority message from Admiral Hackett requesting to come aboard. Hackett. Permission granted. Aye, Commander. What a boss. Commander? Admiral? Are you ready to bring the might of the galaxy to bear on the Reapers? Yes, sir. Then let's make sure the fleets are ready. All fleets reporting in, sir. Never before have so many come together from all quarters of the galaxy. But never before have we faced an enemy such as this. The Reapers will show us no mercy. We must give them no quarter. They will terrorize our populations. We must stand fast in the face of that terror. They will advance until our last city falls, but we will not fall. We will prevail. Each of us will be defined by our actions in the coming battle. Stand fast, stand strong, stand together. Hack it out. Shepard. The sword fleets are ready to strike at the Reapers surrounding Earth. While they keep the enemy engaged, you and Hammer Ground Forces can take London. London? Why aren't we hitting the Citadel directly? Anderson can brief you on that. Admiral, how are you holding up? We are ready to end this. But as you can see, the station's closed itself since it appeared over London. Damn it. Gotta get the arms open to dock the Crucible. Exactly. But London is surrounded by Hades cannons. Hammer transports can't land while they're active. You lead a squadron of smaller shuttles. Infiltrate with a ground team to take out the cannons using heavy weapons. Hammer can land, and we'll set up a forward operation space. I still don't see how we're getting to the Citadel from London. The Reapers use this beam to transport humans, alive and dead, to the Citadel. From the FOB, Hammer will launch an all-out assault on the Citadel beam. Everyone who makes it that far We'll take the beam to the Citadel, then locate and activate the Citadel arm controls. Once we see those arms, Shield Fleet will escort the Crucible to the Citadel. But timing will be critical. 
We don't have enough firepower to keep the Crucible safe for long. Man, it's a hell of a plan. Yeah, it's definitely a hell of a plan. A lot of things have to go perfectly in order for this to work. And quickly. Perfectly and quickly is asking for a lot. But this is what we trained for. This is the moment we've all been waiting for. Nothing's ever easy. No reason it should start now. It's desperate. I don't even want to guess at our odds. But... But this is the only plan we have. If we wait, the Reapers bleed us slowly. Conventionally, we can't defeat the Reapers without the Crucible. Get the Citadel <laughs> arms open. Commander, whatever the cost, we'll do the rest. Yes, sir. Good luck to all of us. That was an awesome moment having him come aboard like that. That was, that was really cool. All right, as you guys know, I did say I'm gonna bring Liara because I feel like I just have to. I am torn between everybody. Uh, Garrus Tally because they're my OG crew. Garrus mainly because he's my sniper, bro. Javik because he wants to get revenge against the Reapers and he deserves that opportunity just as much as anybody else. And James because of the same reasons and he's been wanting to go back to Earth. He's literally been telling us that since we first met him. But I feel like I really should just bring the OG people because I have stuck it out for this long with everybody. I think I'm going to go with, with Garrus because he is my sniper bro and he's been with us since the very, very beginning, just like Tally. But I have to pick one and honestly, his overload with my incinerate is very, very good and I love his concussive shot. and. Things are gonna get spicy down there. Things are gonna get spicy. So that's mainly why I picked him over Tally. All right, gonna keep that the same. Gonna keep those the same. And let me take a look at this. All right, I think I'm actually gonna go with the particle rifle. I know the damage isn't as good, but I just feel like every time I take Garrus out with this thing, it's amazing. And the harpoon gun does so much damage. I'm gonna take him out with that one too. All right. Approaching Soul Relay, Commander. through the relay in 30 seconds. Sorry, fleet's reporting. Warrior fleet's accounted for and ready. Get fleet reporting. All fleet's reporting in, Commander. Ready to engage on your command. command and 
engage the Reaper forces. Roger that. All fighters on me. Shepard. Stop. Oh, gosh. Good luck. You too, Joker. I really hope we make it out of this. Position and waiting for you guys to clear a path. Normandy's rejoining Sword. Stay safe. I'll be back before you know it. I'll hold you to that. Normandy out. We're closing in on the LZ, Commander. How's it look? Like hell. Take a look for yourself. I'm sorry, Shepard. I know how you must feel. I barely even recognize it. What is that? Shit. We got a lock. Hold on. That was the squad responsible for taking out that defense turret. Who's on it now? Nobody in the vicinity. All either deployed or shot down. Mm. Drop us off. Ma'am? We have to take that thing out before Hammer can land. Understood. Change of plans, people. We're gonna take out that Hades cannon. How do we do that? That down shuttle would have been carrying heavy weapons. Perfect. You heard the man. Once we're clear, make your way to the crashed shuttle. We'll search the wreckage for heavy weapons. Right behind you, Shepard. Okay, so we're starting. This is it. This is it. All right, let's go ahead and put this wheel up here. I really liked... I don't know why these are blocked. I guess because we have to now, land first. Go, go. Okay. I don't know why their stuff is locked. Damn, I can't stay here, man. Get clear. Come get us once we've taken that turret out. This is crazy already, right away. All right, so let's throw Overload up here. I don't know why theirs were like blocked for so long. That was awful. Um, Proximity mine, armor piercing ammo. Yeah, go ahead and turn that one on. I'm gonna throw that up there. I guess energy drain would be... All right, we'll run with that for a bit and see how it goes. I'm also about to die. There was one over here. I think he's dead now. What is that thing? Just a cannibal? 
looks crazy. So we're down by like water. Okay. There's no way to go over there. Grenade. This is insane. Look at the Reaper in the distance. All right, he threw a grenade. I'm gonna run away from it. Okay, there's more coming. Brutes where? I see one. God, it's so hard to do anything when it's doing that. to get behind some cover. I'm scared that brute's gonna come over here and try and mess me up. There he is, he's coming. There we go. All right, there's someone over here. More over here. This is crazy. They're literally coming from every angle. Is there still someone over here? Yeah. How did that miss? There's another brute. Come on, reload. finally cleared that wave that was intense i do want to just search for ammo real quick because we're running on e already there's some ammo over here two guns down but we still can't land all right i hear something yep they're coming He's dead. <laughs> All right, there's someone over here. Another one. It's all destroyed and awful, but we're in London. All right, so where am I going? Where am I supposed to be headed right now? Up here? Shuttle wreckage? Okay. Damn it, you've got airborne hostiles inbound. I'm gonna try to keep them off you. Hello? 
Careful for that. This is so disorienting. Damn it, I'm hit. Cortez. I'm all right. You sure? But I won't be picking you up. I gotta land this bird quick. Get safe. Anything for you. Oh. It's like that heat of the moment battle where it's just like anything for you. There's the shuttle. Keep an eye out for Wait, the what's heavy that? weapon supplies. About to die. We're not good. I hate this like camera shaking so much. All right, I think they got them. All right, what's that? Okay. Does it have to be during, like, when it's open? Oh, no. Okay. <gasps> Let's go. I was nervous. I thought maybe it had to be open for me to destroy it. Last gun down. Okay. All teams, prepare for landing. Anybody, come in. We need extraction. There's another cannon. All right. Heads up. We got company. <sighs> Let's go! Let's go! This is Commander Shepard. Any Alliance personnel in the vicinity? Grenade. Get us out of here, Corporal. Major Coach. You okay? I'm alive. That you are. Ooh, I feel like we just got Anderson. Anderson. I knew you wouldn't let me down. It's good to see you. Anderson. And you were sight for sore eyes. How are we looking? Now that the heavy air defenses are dealt with, Hammer can land. And not a moment too soon. What's left of the Resistance is holding a forward operating base. But the Reapers are countering already. Once we regroup, it's going to be up to Hammer to take up the fight. How'd you hold out for so long? Look at this place. It's completely destroyed. It's ruined. I don't... It must have been brutal here. Yeah. Off from the rest of the Alliance. 
It's been touch and go from day one. But once we figured out the Reapers were focusing on the major centers, it became easier to avoid direct contact. Until London. Yeah. We held back as long as we could, sending in recon teams. Lost a lot of good men planning this attack. But with soldiers like Major Coates, and knowing you'd bring us help, we held on. You did more than hold on. We'd expect nothing less. Yeah, you... You did more than just hold on. You... It's crazy that he's still here. Without you and your resistance, we'd be dead in the water. Yeah. Yeah, the Admiral's being modest. He's For the sure. reason any of us are still alive. Let's not start handing out medals just yet. This fight's just getting started. And Hammer better be ready for it. Everyone's prepared. They'd know that it they know that it's do or die. Yeah, everyone knows that the stakes are very, very, very high. Not sure if we're hundred percent prepared. <laughs> I mean, we have been preparing for this for a really long time, but we know that the stakes are are high. They'll do whatever it takes to win this. Good. That's what it's gonna take. We'll get it done, Anderson. I was born in London. Really? The entire galaxy united. Too bad it took the Reapers to bring us together. Shepard's the one that brought them together. That's exactly what I meant. I know you didn't like leaving, Shepard. But nobody could have accomplished what you've done. It's good to be back home. There's the FOB. Looks good. Give Hammer the all clear. Ever seen Alliance soldiers before? Their uniform looks really cool. What is that? Oh, it's the thing that Anderson was talking about shutting down. Admiral, we've set up a command center in the building over there. Looks like we've still got groups coming in. Yes, sir, but not as many as we'd hoped. Hmm. Come see me when you're ready, Shepard. Will do. He's right. I expected to see more of Hammer here by now. A lot of them won't be making it. You two go on ahead. I'll catch up. The fighting here's been some of the worst on the planet. It looks bad, but there's still hope. And you're here. It'll do the troops good to see you. Bolster their resolve. You think so? They shouldn't need me? Yeah, you think so? I'm just a soldier like them. You might see yourself like that, but they don't. Like it or not, Commander, you're a hero to these men and women. Don't discount the effect that can have on them. I better go meet up with my battalion. I'll see you at the command center. Mm. So we just get to walk around and this is crazy. Where are we? Just in a random building? Oh my God, the floor is gone. <laughs> All right, is there anything else up here? I don't think so. It's kind of crazy to see this place like this. All right, let's go down and walk around.
wonder why we're like walking around right now. It's just, I guess because we're about to go to the battle station, prepare for battle on how to infiltrate. The music. Oh, it's James. Hey, Commander. What, no Lola? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sorry. You okay? I don't know what I thought I'd feel coming back to Earth. I was ready to fight. Ready to die if I had to. But seeing everything like this... We'll rebuild it, give hope, get angry about it, give rage. I feel like we need a little bit of both in order to win this war, honestly. Right now, I feel like rage is just... And it speaks to James too, like, get angry about it, get pumped up about it, because we need to give it our all. You still have to be ready to fight, you still have to be ready to die in order to save Earth. Let's do to the Reapers what they did to us. Let's hurt them. Let's stay focused. Don't go losing the fight before throwing your first punch. Yeah. I know, I know. You're right. So, I guess this is it, no? One more push, one last fight. Yep, not necessarily our last. It's been an honor serving with you, Shepard. The feeling's definitely mutual. You're a good man and a terrific soldier. Thanks. Whatever happens out there today, I know you'll make me proud. That means a lot to me, ma'am. Good luck out there, Lola. But that stunt back on Mars was reckless. <clears throat> You're lucky to be alive. <clears throat> so? So. Maybe you don't care if you live or die. Or maybe. <clears throat> I'm just willing to do whatever the fuck it takes to end this goddamn war. Thanks for the pep talk. Anytime. Thanks for the dance, Lola. Lola, huh? You kind of look like a Lola. <laughs> You're cute. So I'll let you get away with it. For now. <laughs> Their banter back and forth. After watching the, I think the anime is what did it for me. My tune towards James definitely changed after I watched the anime. And I think it's, it's just because I know that he looks up to us as a mentor. And that mentor, trainee, how I know that he is so like enthralled by Shepard and looks up to her so much, it just changed my entire outlook about him. And I think that's why I got so like, irked about him and Ashley because not only do I not really see them together like that but I also just kind of look out for him but yeah I just I've really grown to love James and I think in another playthrough I would definitely bring him along for more missions for sure got everyone saluting It's like eerily quiet here. What did they find? Reports indicate one of your parts of base is in no man's land. Enemy instinction has been a hundred percent. They said one of the big reapers swept through the area. Did Echo Team have a recommendation? Affirmative. Advise delaying next wave of hammer. Damn. Fucking murdered out there. We don't have a choice. Negative on that delay. We'll advise command of the situation, but Hammer proceeds as planned. Over. Acknowledged. Mm. All right, so this must be the place where they set up a temporary base. I'm just going to take a peek over here just to make sure that I'm not missing anything. General notice all firehouses, people. We're using the trucks as decoys now. There's no way we can handle the damage being done. Since there's apparently trying to take us out, we might as well be of what use we can be. Volunteers only, coordinate with evac services. God go with you. Central dispatch. So where is Anderson? 
these over there. Okay, so I imagine like we go up this way. So let me go in through these doors. See what all this is over here. Is this Ashley? Shepard, are you holding up? Restless. Everything depends on this. Think we have a chance? There's always hope. That's how we got this far. And you made it happen, Shepard. You're the reason we're here. It definitely wasn't just me. I've had people like you picking me up and dusting me off when I stumbled. Lost count of all the times you saved me. Almost as many times as you saved me, hero lady. Mm. It always comes down to this. Feels like a thousand years since we met on Eden Prime. Gunnery Chief Ashley Williams of the 212. So much has happened. It's hard to figure out how we got here. You're a survivor, Ash. Always were. I hope you're right. I'm right. You're a fine soldier, a specter. We're lucky to have you. Thanks, Commander. Okay. One more hill to take, Lieutenant Commander. You ready? Aye, aye, Captain. I'm ready. All right, let's head in here. Looks like Anderson's actually right there. Oh no, it's a communications check. Yes, Commander. Is there someone you'd like to reach? <gasps> I can talk to Grunt, Jacob, Miranda. What? <gasps> All of them? Oh, geez. All right, let's start with Grunt. Grunt. Certainly. I'll connect you now. About time you got here, Shepard. Didn't want to win this thing all by myself. Good to see you back in action, Grunt. Wouldn't miss it. Shepard. Yeah? Thanks for getting me out of that tank. Oh no! Sir Grunt, it's been an honor. Same here, Shepard. Okay, Grunt out. Is there someone else I can connect you to? Jacob Taylor. Certainly. I'll connect you now. This is so surreal. Shepard, that you? Jacob, holding up? <laughs> Kicking ass more like. <laughs> My kill counts through the roof. We'll meet and compare notches when this is over. You got it. There's this uh, great little bar in Rio we have to check out. I'm holding you to that. Give him hell, Jacob. Yes, sir. Sir. Shepard out. <laughs> Was that a mistype? Is there someone else I can connect you to? Miranda Lawson. Certainly. I'll connect you now. Commander, hope you don't mind me crashing this little party of yours. Not at all. Feeling better? Much. I got a few sideways looks from Alliance Brass when I offered to help. They can't be choosy at this point. I'm glad you made it. Shepard, I, I wanted to say goodbye. Goodbye? If we both come back from this at all, everything will be different. Sure, everything will change, but on our terms. We've been running until now, Miranda. It has to stop. I understand. This isn't goodbye. You have to believe we're not done yet. Listening to you, I can believe it. Good. And Miranda. Yes? Be careful. I promise. And you too, Shepard. Whoa, big butt. <laughs> <That was laughs> I'm sorry. Is there someone else I can connect you to? Oh, man. We've been, like, saying goodbye to everyone for, like, a whole hour now, and it's starting to get to me now. Starting to get to me. All right, let's do Zaid. Zaid Masani. 
Certainly. I'll connect you now. Almost thought you weren't gonna make it, Shepard. Glad I was wrong. You doing okay, Zaid? Yeah, yeah. Hope you've got one hell of a speech to get everyone moving. Looks like we might need it. Never seen anything like this. We don't stop it now, it gets worse. No kidding. Just doesn't feel like a real ground war when your opponents are taller than goddamn skyscrapers. Still, no use talking about it. Ready to go when you are. Let's cut the bastards. Is there someone else I can connect you to? All right, Cortez, even though we just saw him, hopefully he landed okay. Steve Cortez. Certainly. I'll connect you now. Commander, you made it. Glad I can say the same about you, Cortez. I've come too far to lose my pilot now. I apologize for that. Things got too hot. Thought maybe I could do another run and head back around. Well, not one of my finer moments. <laughs> if I'd been flying my old trident, things might have been different. What matters is we took out that AA gun. Yeah. Absolutely. And the Reapers are next. That's the idea. It'll happen. I'm just glad I can play a part. And Commander, thanks for making me believe again. If you hadn't... It helps to have reason to live again. Stay sharp, Cortez. Yes, ma'am. Is there someone else I can connect you to? All right, Kasumi. Kasumi Goto. Certainly. I'll connect you now. Hey, Shep. You ready down there? It depends on whether you've got the crucible good to go. Always ready. No idea what it'll do exactly, but it's gonna be big. Good luck, Shepard. If you live through it, drinks are on me. Is there someone else I can connect you to? Samara. Certainly. I'll connect you now. I wondered if I'd see you again, Samara. It's past time I joined your battle. You helped me a great deal in the monastery, Shepard. Thank you for returning the favor. Only your actions will be remembered. May you choose them well. Farewell. Is there someone else I can connect you to? All right, Jack. I saved Jack for last because I need Jack's like gung-ho energy right now. Everyone else, I just want to cry listening to for the last time. I'm probably going to listen to them, but... Yeah, I need some of Jack's like fireball energy right now. Jack. Certainly. I'll connect you now. Shepard? Shepard, is that you? Jack, how are you guys? Good so far. We're a ways south of your position. We saved some resistance fighters with barrier support. Bringing a bit more firepower your way. I'll see you on the other side. I won't let you down, Shepard. Go kick some ass. Her face. You too. Is there someone else I can connect you to? I'm done. Yes, ma'am. That was really sweet that they let us have like kind of final moments with everybody because I'm assuming that after this we won't really get our Normandy crew chat and like a re like a rehash with everybody. I I'm starting to see that now. Ooh, okay. Let's get up there. There's a lot of ammo up here. <laughs> I think we're full though. Any more data pads or anything? See anything. I want you to coordinate with the Alliance. Make sure we iron out these logistical problems. Yes, sir. The Krogan don't want to share supplies, though. That's just Rex playing hard to get. <laughs> Tell him I've got a crate of Denorian beer I'd be happy to barter with. <laughs> and that ought to get his attention. That's really funny. 
So what is this? Just Garrus in here? Hey, it's Primarch Victus. It'll be the last one if I have anything to say about it. This nightmare finally ends today. You really think the Reapers can be defeated? I know they can. That whole sovereign business a few years ago, he was the first to die. Now all his friends will too. Dang. Primarch Victus. I didn't realize you were here. Yeah. I wanted to return the favor in person. Though I'm sorry to see your world. Looks as bad as ours. That was really kind of him and brave of him to come down to Earth and fight alongside of us here. I'm surprised you're not back on Palavan. Yeah. This war will be won or lost today, here, on Earth, not Palavan. It's true. Everything comes down to this moment. And history will record that the Turian hierarchy stood among the brave. How are things back on Palavan? Erdnot Rex was true to his word. The Krogan put up a magnificent fight. Fearless to the last soldier. They bought us time to evacuate civilians. Yet even then the Reapers were still too much. The only hope for my world now is victory here on Earth. I'm glad we got this chance to speak. Good luck, Commander. Good luck, Commander. All right. Shepard. So I guess this is... <sighs> Just like old times. <laughs> huh. Huh. Hmm. Might be the last chance we get to say that. I think we're gonna lose? No, I think we're about to kick the Reapers back into whatever black hole they crawled out of. Then we're going to retire somewhere warm and tropical and live off the royalties from the vids. <laughs> We've definitely earned it at that point, for sure. I'll meet you there. I think my days of saving the galaxy are over when this is done. Yeah. Be sure to leave room for all the autographs. Just need to beat the Reapers to get there. James told me there's an old saying here on Earth. May you be in heaven half an hour before the devil knows you're dead. Not sure if Torian heaven is the same as yours, but if this thing goes sideways and we both end up there, meet me at the bar. I'm by. Shepard and Vicarian storming heaven. I guess there are worse ways this could end. But maybe some other day. And Shepard... Forgive the insubordination, but this old friend has an order for you. Go out there and give them hell. You were born to do this. Goodbye, Garrus. And if I'm up there in that bar and you're not, I'll be looking down. I'll always have your back. It's really sweet. Oh, sniper bros. <laughs> I need a minute after that one. He just, he always knows what to say at the right time. And even down to some of the bigger decisions that we've had to make that I've taken Garrus on, he's always on my side. He's always voicing, no matter what we pick, no matter what option we're standing behind, he's right there standing there too. He doesn't fight us back on anything we say. Everything that he says goes and everything that I say goes, and we've always just had that understanding for one another. Garrus's character is so well written. Definitely one of my favorites. Ooh, I'm ready now. We've got hostiles on the perimeter. Get on that gun! 
Um, okay. It was interesting. <laughs> and then right back into like the surreal music. Hey, it's Liara. What's in here? Just like a little weird area. Okay. Oh, she's looking after these guys. How are the casualties? They haven't brought in many more wounded. That's something. How are you holding up, Liara? This is it, isn't it? Yeah. This is it. I don't know what to say. I just know I'll have a clever line five minutes from now. <laughs> I do have one thing for you, Shepard. A gift. It'll only take a moment if you want it. I'd love to see the gift. No, thank you. What is it? What kind of gift? Do you remember when I first joined my consciousness to yours? I can show you some of my own memories. Asari exchanged them sometimes with good friends or their bondmates. It can also be a way to say farewell. Show me. Close your eyes. Do what needs to be done. I can't imagine what that would be. We should do this more often. Yes, well, maybe after. Every day after. Shep oh my gosh, my heart. <sighs> what was that? Just her signaling or trying to show us that she'll be with us until the end. I feel like that's what that was. The blur the bright light in the distance holding on to us, us going into the light together. I was expecting more of like an actual memory, but I feel like she was just trying to be more cryptic. Okay, they need to stop What's throwing this, this emotion at me. Okay, and I'll try to stay calm. I'm just a civilian. We're out of Meditel, and your surgeon got killed by a reaper. I don't know how to do this. Oh, God. I'll talk you through it. You're his only hope right now. The most important thing is to stop the bleeding. How? Do you have any towels or bandages? <laughs> Use your shirt. Tear off one of your sleeves and... Wait. Something's coming our way. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. He passes by. You need to tear off your sleeve into strips. You're going to make a tourniquet. Alright. Hold on. Okay. I did it. Now wrap that just above his knee to cut off the blood flow. Tie it off in a knot. Again, pull tighter. Okay. I'm wrapping it again. I think I got it. What's his condition? It looks like he passed out. But he's still breathing. I 
stay with him. If the bleeding starts again, let me know. You're going to make it. It's crazy to think that after all of this, like, look at everything. I mean, I'm sure not all of the streets look like this, but that there's still even people that are surviving out there that have not been able to escape or make it out or be rescued or, I mean, rescued to where at this point, but it's just crazy. Sammy, where are you? I can't find you. Please message me back. People that go into the place and come out, not the same, not human anymore. Can hear the voices crawling inside the back of my skull, whispering, they won't. Stop, why won't it stop until I go where the others won't? Went to get turned into one of those things. Please make it stop. Won't listen to the voices, won't go in there, can't make me stop. Know what to do. Doctor? Yes, I'm here. Oh, God. Do you feel a pulse? No. He's gone. You did everything you could. We'll get you out of there soon. I don't think so. One of the big reasons is coming our way. Well, then run. Get out of there. That doesn't work. They always catch you. And then they turn you into that... thing. You have to try. Go! Candace, you may... No, 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 don't! Goodbye, Doctor. Wait, no! Are you still there? Hello? Are you there? Damn it. I don't know what I would do in this situation. I guess, as a civilian, you're just so desperate to not want to turn into those things, like that data pad just said, and it's so scary when you know what's going to happen to you. Oh, this is awful. Okay. This is crazy. Hey, it's Javik. And Rex! When all seemed lost, and the end was near, one word delivered the killer blow. One word beat the monsters back to the abyss. And one word brought death to an enemy none dared fight. That word was Krogan! <laughs> and today, the Krogan rise again. Today, we forge a new path and join the galaxy as allies in victory. Today, we win our future! Shepard, you did it. No matter what else happens today, you did what no one else could. You united a galaxy. That's a victory right there. And don't worry. I know why you're going to win. Because you brought the Krogan. Now let's go kick some ass, Shepard. I meant to tell you, Shepard. Earth reminds me of home. Guess you'll be needing a new planet too. That's okay. Your chunk has got room to spare. And a guard dog named Kalros. <laughs> That's really sweet that he's offering to for us to stay at Tuchanka because it does look Mr. like it Solarian here. Boot camp. I want to be prepped and ready in five. Oh. Isn't Solarian boot camp? <laughs> We're ready, Shepard. Say the word. Posed. You risk appearing weak at a critical time. Shepard. <gasps> good enough oh my god it's rags excuse me oh my god it's rags <laughs> oh Shepherd, my friend oh my god <laughs> you look well for dead Shepard. should have known the void couldn't hold you his speech was very good it's really cool to see rex Suck it up, <laughs> in his throne over his people and giving that. I want to go see if the Quarians have anything to eat. All that Turian food gave me the runs. Oh, you have to announce that to everybody. <laughs> we may have cured the Genophage, Don Rock, but if you don't step to it, you're not having any kids. Uh. 
All of these lines are so good. This is a Solaria boot camp. I want to be prepped and ready and fine. All right. Gosh. Commander. Was it this bad in your time? Worse. I have been listening to the Krogan speak to his men. In our cycle, the races never came together. There was no rallying cry. I envy you. Really? There's not much left out there. The future is still out there. It is something my people could never say. There will be a tomorrow. Only if we win today. No one else has ever made it this far. You came a long way, Javik. Further than anyone else here. And I look forward to fulfilling my mission. But you are now the avatar of this cycle. The exemplar of victory. Not just for humanity, or Turians, or Protheans, but for all life. Every soul that has ever existed is watching this moment. Well, no pressure when you put it that way. Do not waver. Victory is never won without difficult choices. So I've learned. I'm ready for it. Yeah, so I have learned. I have definitely learned that if that's the one thing that I take away from this entire trilogy, it is that one line right there. Victory is never won without difficult choices. Do not waver. I know. I had to make a lot of those. There may be more. But I know you will see this through for all of us, no matter the cost. If we actually pull this off, what will you do afterwards? Seeing the past again in the Echo Shard, the faces of my men. I will go to the Cronian Nebula, and I will find their graves. I will put their ghosts to rest, and then I will join them. You mean... Havik. It is as it should be, Commander. The last Prothean voice has spoken. There is no more left to say. Here. This shard is now yours. Add to it. The progeny of this cycle will study it. They will know this was the day when the Reapers were no more, and that you were their conqueror. By making him listen to the shard, I ended his life. I thought that it would give him hope and reason to fight, and I... I even said that if I was in his position, I wouldn't listen to it. But I was thinking about myself. I was thinking about myself in this moment in Shepard's shoes. And that I would want to listen to and remember the people that I love. But I, I am here with my own species and everyone that I love around me all the time. Javik has lost them all. What about this zone? We could circle around and flood it with reinforcements. Not likely. I spent three days in that sector and trapped inside big beds, sniping anything that moved. It's a bloody death trap. Name me one place in this city that isn't. It's true. Almost time for the final push. Are you okay? No. I thought I'd be asking you that question. Shepard, I backed you when I was just a kid on her pilgrimage. I backed you when the Normandy was a Cerberus ship. What kind of friend would I be if I didn't back you now? And you haven't answered my question. Are you okay? I'm not gonna lie. You remember how you felt when you landed on Rannark? Now imagine it's not a story passed down by your people. Imagine you were there just a few months ago. And now you're seeing it like this. We need to put it right. We will. Whatever happens, I'm proud to have served with you, Captain. It's been an honor, Talizor of us, Normandy. The Admirals once hung that ship name on me like a badge of shame. And then the Normandy helped us reclaim our homeworld. It's time I returned the favor. Oh, that's so sweet. Hurry. 
right. I see Edie over here, too. Is there anyone else in here? I don't think so. Shepard, I have a question. Is it a big or small one? <laughs> it is important. Its relevance would be diminished at any other time. Ask mm -hmm. away. In this battle, the Reapers have no reason not to use their full capabilities to destroy us. Their forces are in entrenched positions. They have superior firepower and outnumber our forces. My question is, what makes you think we can reach the conduit at all? They underestimate us. I don't fail twice. I'm not about to be cocky. They underestimate us. They have always underestimated us, even all the way back to when they indoctrinated Saren and thought that they could just simply get away with it that way. And even down to us not figuring out what they were doing with the human DNA, they've always underestimated us. The Reapers have the Citadel. They think they've won and that's the best time to hit them. If they have spies or other intelligence, we could lose the element of surprise. In such a case, we will likely lose. Are you afraid? Our probability for success is greater than any other plan presented to date. That's not what I asked. Are you afraid? I do not understand the purpose of the question. There's no room for doubt anymore, Edie. You understand what we have to do or you don't. I am clear on what we must accomplish, Shepard. The Reapers have destroyed thousands of civilizations. But they have never destroyed ours, nor will they. Couldn't put it better myself. Time to move out. Shepard, there is something I want you to know. The elusive man ordered my creation years ago. Jeff was the one who allowed me to think for myself. But only now do I feel alive. That is your influence. Thanks, Edie. It's so hard hearing everyone's final words to us. It's so hard. I think I am speechless because I am just trying to swallow all of it. I'm trying to swallow all of it. I'm not doing a very good job. <laughs> These last words and the last bits of seeing everybody and walking through this building is, is so well written. Commander. Admiral. Just going over the sit rep. How's it look? Barely 50% of Hammer has reported in. Can we count on more making it? There's some stragglers still en route. But the bulk of Hammer that's still intact has arrived. We're as ready as we're likely to get. <clears throat> I'm almost ready. Let's start the attack. So this is the point of no return. I guess they're kind of making sure that you've talked to everyone and you've done everything and all of that. So... I'm going to go take a bathroom break and make sure that I'm good. I took some deep breaths. I think I'm ready now. Every minute wasted here, the Reapers gather strength. Exactly my thoughts. Battalion leaders, report to HQ. We fought hard to get here, but now the toughest part of our mission begins. We've got to drive right through the heart of Reaper-controlled territory, break past their defenses, and get to that beam. What kind of defenses? The entire area is crawling with Reaper forces. But our biggest concern is the destroyer, protecting the beam itself. Can we bring in air support to deal with it? Negative. Some kind of interference. We'll have to take it out from the ground. Now they've cut a swath of no man's land through the city. We'll have to cross that first. There'll be some limited shelter on the other side, but expect heavy ground resistance. We need to get our tanks to here, if we get close enough. We've got a shot at taking that thing out. How much of a shot? They know we're coming. This will be a one-way trip for many of us, but there can be no retreat, no stepping back. We move forward at all costs, understood? Yeah! Hooyah! Yes, sir! Johnson, Coates, you two will coordinate the artillery units. Shepard, I'm sending you right up the gut where the resistance is heaviest. 
Support the tanks the best you can, but stay alive. I need you for the final push to the beam. I'll give you a minute with your squad. Pick your team well. So we get to repick who we want to bring with us. I guess that's what he was saying. Look at everyone. This war has brought us pain and suffering and loss. But it's also brought us together as soldiers, allies, friends. This bond that ties us together is something the Reapers will never understand. It's more powerful than any weapon, stronger than any ship. It can't be taken or destroyed. Remember what you fight for? Victory or death? Yeah, remember what you fight for. The next few hours will decide the fate of everyone in the galaxy. Every mother, every son, every unborn child. They're trusting you, depending on you to win them their future. A future free from the threat of the Reapers. Be fearless, be ruthless. Expect no mercy. Show no mercy. You fight, or you die. Okay, so they're letting us pick again. I want to bring the same people, Liara and Garrus. I just... I feel like I should switch it up, maybe. Now that I know that Javik is, is not going to stick around, even if we win this, I feel like he should come with us because he deserves to get some, some peace fighting the Reapers by our side. It's, I knew that in that moment, I shouldn't have made him relive those memories. I even remember saying afterwards that I feel bad because I made him relive all of that pain. And it makes me wonder what would have happened if I didn't choose to do that. And I was so close to not picking that and I was blinded by my own personal preference <laughs> instead of thinking about Javik. I thought about him, I just, I didn't end up picking that. He shouldn't watch it. And now I regret that decision so much. So I'm gonna bring, I'm gonna bring him with me and this might be a surprise, but I'm gonna bring Garrus with me as well. I'm gonna bring Garrus and Javik because I just feel like Garrus has been by my side this entire time and never wavered. And Liara has never wavered, but she's been She's been busy in her broker office and doing other things. And I just feel like if anyone else deserves to stand by my side during these last final moments, it's definitely Garrus for everything that I said during his final speech too. So yeah, I'm gonna bring both of them. That was a really, really hard decision, but I really, I think Garrus deserves to be by her side and Javik also deserves to get retribution for everything with the reapers he deserves to to see this end all right we're still gonna stick in with the particle beam same with garris i think i like that loadout
cool to see everyone fight together. Turian, Krogan, human. No man's land that sounds scary <clears throat> all right so let me take a look at this what are we missing liara singularity all right let's put dark channel right there and try that lineup turn that on okay Got this ammo. Get all of them. Okay. What was that? I look away for one second. jump down right as I shot. The only downside of overload. Ah! Alright. Hopefully my shields can come back on now. Anybody know how the hell we're supposed to take down a destroyer with tanks? Phanix missiles can do a fuck ton of damage. No. If you say so. A how much ton? <laughs> guns back here.
so scared. Okay. We'll try to clear the building. Woo, okay. That was crazy. He's dead. Ooh. All right, there's a door over there. I just want to make sure I'm grabbing all the ammo that I need before we leave this area. Because things are getting spicy. Where's Garrus? Oh, okay. Going. Oh god, a brute. There's more than one. Oh my god. Okay. 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 Holy crap. Oh my gosh. Alright, good job, guys. Were you sweating? No? Me either. I wasn't expecting two of them to come at me in once like that. That's pretty mean. It's pretty messed up. All right. Anything over here? No. I was hoping for some meds because we're we're at like six, which isn't very low, but I just don't love being low on meds. Oh, okay. Hello. There's a lot of them in here. Great. Bomb, 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 bomb. You all right, Garrus? All right. Charlie Company's been taken out. Who are you trying to blast, Javik? Oh, there's like, oh, there's little spiders on the floor. Of course. What the heck? What's he doing? All right. Oh, nice meds. Oh, there's just like skeletons in here. Oh, it's awful. No. Mom, Dad, I really can't reach you guys. I tried the office and your personal comms. No one's answering. The news is saying that there's bombings and they're getting worse. And then the power went out. I know I'm supposed to stay put, but I can't reach anyone. I'm getting really worried about the twins. I'm going to head off to school to pick them up, okay? If I don't hear, I'll bring the other kids too if I find them. You can yell at me when we meet up at the emergency shelters. Love, Kay. Oh, man. All right. So we're full on ammo. Let me just check in here. Ooh, some meds. Nice. Oh, we're actually full on meds now. 
I think that was everything in here. Oh my god! No! <laughs> I love how just... <laughs> Javik, I love that you used your little push thing to like yeet that one husk away. That was great, man. That was great. He said, hell no. Not up in here. Alright, do I just jump down? Okay. That was it with that wave. This is Echo Company. There's not enough room to maneuver the tanks in here. Backtrack if you have to, but find another route. Oh my god. Acknowledged. I don't know why I didn't think he was looking at me. He is definitely looking at me. Crazy. I'm gonna swap this out. I feel like it's not doing anything. I'm not really sure, but it's not causing a lot of damage. So I'm gonna pull, I'm gonna do his slam over there. I feel like it should work. Effects link depends on dark channel duration. Second channel first. Plague an opponent with a persistent damaging biotic field. Yeah, I'm not sure. Maybe it's just because it's slow damage over time, but I just need more damage over time, like a short amount of time. <laughs> we don't really have time to be messing around with like slow damage over time right now. I always thought that dark channel was OP, but I guess it's really not that great. Hello? much better let's go yeah i like that much much better i am kind of sad that i'm not running with liara because her singularity is so good it just kind of like has that it has that good crowd control Oh, 
All right, how am I on ammo? Looks pretty good. Okay. Whoa, grenade. be like music or something like i know we're like in the middle of war but it's so eerie i feel like it's way too quiet sometimes it's freaking me out all right let me run back here and make sure i'm not missing any like possible grenades to pick up or something data pads no okay Get back out. I see like a green door over there. The destroyer spotted us. We're prepping Phanix missiles. See something. Hold your fire. You won't do anything but piss it off. Because of that, but we may have no choice. Understood. Is there more? Yep. Still fighting some guys over there. Okay. Can we go in this way? out of ammo in this one. Some more ammo. I'm scared. 
I'm running. Okay. Just gonna play Leaf Frog until he dies. <laughs> there we go. Oh, that was scary. Okay. Let me go see if I can find some ammo up in here. I'm kind of running low. I don't think I have any in my pistol. Oh no, I do now. Okay. I think we have to go down this alley. What's down there? Can we go down this way? backwards with their little legs. Oh my god, it scared me. Okay, well, let's go see what's down here then. Since, you know, oh, nothing's down here? Okay. Oh my gosh. I hated every second of that. That wasn't fair <laughs> to just stick two brutes on us. Something in here. Oh god, it's so dark and creepy everywhere. All right, ammo. Security memo. They're targeting shelters, evacuation shuttles, emergency services, power centers, people. It's not about destroying property as much as it's about destroying the population. We've got to modify standard evac plans. We can't rely on conventional procedures. We'll just get more people killed. Stay in small groups, get survivors out of the city, spread people out as much as possible, pass the word, people. They must have been through some stuff here, everywhere, really, but this one obviously hits way too close to home. There's the artillery. But the company's been wiped out. Ooh, Major, meds. what's the situation? The beam's interfering with missile guidance. We can hit the destroyer, but we'll never make the precision strike we need to take it out. Damn what am it. I holding? Edie, can you read me? Yes, Commander. Any suggestions? I may be able to use the Normandy systems to enhance the missile's targeting capabilities. Excellent. I'll need you to open a link to the Normandy from the missile systems. On it. Okay. What am I holding right now? What did I pick up? I don't even know what this is. Okay. I can't tell what that is. That's it. I'll let you know when I've adapted the targeting systems. Sounds like good news, Commander. We'll see. Hammer. This is Admiral Anderson. All right, they're coming. Are making a push. Hold your ground. Protect those tanks until we can get a shot. All right. You heard him, people. Get ready. There they are. Oh. 
Where are they coming from? Just down there. more ammo over here I don't see anything over there uh, try not to lose track of this gun okay hang in there soldier heads up we got more incoming yep watch our left flank all right yep okay so they're coming from this way Where'd that guy go? You just popped down. scared I don't want that banshee to come near us it's getting closer hard this is terrifying all right i got a banshee over there i'm pretty sure there's still someone alive nope they're dead all right let's just try to take down this banshee right now being shot ah, no no don't die don't die we got this we got this Everything's fine. I'm gonna grab some more ammo real quick. And meds. And be invisible. All right. Oh, that's Garrus. I'm so sorry, Garrus. Got it. All right, let's go. You heard her. Back to the truck, people. Woo! I am surprised we lived. Holy crap. Firing! 
Great. What happened? The Reaper is still too close to the beam. We're down to two missiles. And we haven't even scratched it. You will need to allow the Reaper to move out of the beam's influence. And closer to us. Commander, hammer's being overrun at every turn. Reaper ground forces are converging on your location. We're fighting our way to you. Hold on, Commander. Hold on. Another wave. Great. Incoming. All right. Hold on, everyone. We're fine. We can do this. God, the like waver the in her are voice. Incoming. She's. Oh, great. All right, we're fine. We're fine. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Okay, one down. Oh, my gosh. This is crazy. I am sweating. All right. Where is everybody? Where's Javik? Where? Okay, I just saw someone running. Oh, hi, mister. Okay. Need cover. All right, I'm out of ammo, so I'm gonna go grab some. This is insane. Like, actually insane. <gasps> oh my god. Okay. Got annihilated by that brute over there. Oh, hang on, gotta reload. My earbuds falling out. I think because I, I don't know why. I'm just like freaking out, man. I'm freaking out. I'm just like spamming all of the buttons. I'm gonna go grab some more ammo. I don't think I need ammo. I just need a mental break.
the missiles. Maybe if I reach it to missile control, then we don't have to fight these people anymore! Go, 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 go! Oh, man. look good that was a crazy fight i feel like the sound got weird towards the end it gets worse of course it does hackett just reported in several sovereign class reapers including harbinger have broken off from the battle with sword they're headed here harbinger it's an opportunity for hackett to get the crucible in place but we have to get a team on board the citadel to open those arms now we still don't even know what we'll find when we get to the Citadel. And that's our job. Find out what we're up against. All right. Saddle up, everybody. <clears throat> get me Admiral Hackett. Man, my palms are like so sweaty right now. <laughs> that was a really hard fight. I don't know if I was supposed to like cheese it like that and just run for the console, but we were gonna die otherwise. I was running out of ammo. It's now or never, Admiral. We're going in. Acknowledged. I'll send the word. All ships, this is Admiral Hackett. The Crucible is on the move. I repeat, the Crucible is on the move. Let's go. Protect it at all costs. Everyone, this is it. That thing is huge. Straight shot to the beam. A straight shot with Reapers trying to crush us along the way. We just need to get a handful of troops through. That all? We knew this was going to be a gamble at best. I'm proud of all of you. No one hold back. Yeah, I am so proud that we even made it this far. I This was a hard fight even just to get to this point. I can't even imagine what we're about to go up against. Can't think of anyone else I'd rather do this with. Feels like this fight's always been ours to finish. Oh, Garrus. We're in sight of the target. All right, everyone. This is it. Oh, God. Shit. Oh, God. 
gosh. Uh, oh, this is terrifying. Oh my god, people are just being vaporized. let you die here you'll just slow me down i won't let you die here i need to know somebody's getting out of this alive <laughs> Come on. good luck This is crazy. No. Oh, he died. can do it.
that someone made it to the Citadel. We need to give them time to get those arms open. All fleets converge on the Crucible, protected at all costs. Side of the citadel. Shepard. What's that? Shepard. <sighs> Anderson. You up here too? I followed you up. But we didn't come out the same place. No. At least I don't think we did. What's your surrounding look like? <laughs> you okay? I've been better. I'm okay. Yeah, I've definitely been better. Look at us. I feel like death, but I'm moving. <sighs> it's dark. There's human remains scattered. Sounds familiar. I'm in a dark hallway. Reminds me of your description of the collector base. <sighs> Makes sense. You think they're making a Reaper in here? <laughs> sure. They round them up on Earth and send the people up here to be processed. Agreed. But it's really. But where the hell are we? Yeah. It doesn't look like any part of the citadel I've been to. Yeah, definitely not. It's really creepy how the keeper is just like. I don't even know what it's doing to that body, but it's doing something. And it's creeping me out. This is awful. Oh, gosh. Hmm. Whoa. Anderson. One of the walls here just realigned itself. The place is shifting, changing. Like, what is it doing to these bodies? I don't think There's I want to know. And more hallways like the one I was in. I think I'm near an exit. What is this? It looks like the shadow broker technology. I see something up ahead. Might be a way to cross over. Don't get too far ahead of me. Yeah, we have no idea what we're dealing with in here. Hello? Just found that chasm you were talking about. Hold on. Yeah. I see something. A control panel, maybe. I'm just gonna go on. Oh. Anderson? No. Damn it. Don't touch anything. What is he doing? We don't know what this is. Is that Anderson? It looks like Anderson, right? Yeah, it's Anderson. Why is he just standing there? <gasps> Anderson! What's happening? Shepard! I can't! He's being controlled. <gasps> I underestimated you, Shepard. What happened? Look at his neck. 
I warned you. Control <gasps> is the means to survival. Control of the Reapers and of you, if necessary. Please. They're controlling you. I don't think so, Admiral. He's been indoctrinated this whole time. He has, he's pretty much a reaper at this point. Look at his neck. How long has he been indoctrinated like this? If, if that's what they're hinting at, right? He's indoctrinated, he's... <sighs> but why would they ask him to do all of this? I guess just to get the control back of the Crucible, but promise him that he is going to be able to control them. Oh, that's so... That's so deep. I had a feeling ever since I met the elusive man and I saw his eyes that he was... He was not all human. He had some upgrades in him, just like Saren. You don't get it? We're not the enemy here? I think he still does not understand. I want to tell him that we're not the enemy, but I... I want him to see. Controlling me is a lot different than controlling a Reaper. Have a little faith. When humanity discovered the mass relays, when we learned there was more to the galaxy than we imagined, there were some who thought the relay should be destroyed. They were scared of what we'd find, terrified of what we might let in. But look at what humanity has achieved. Since that discovery, we've advanced more than the past 10,000 years combined. And the Reapers will do the same for us again, a thousandfold. But... <sighs> Only if we can harness their ability to control. No. Bullshit. We destroy them, or they destroy us. And waste this opportunity? Never. You didn't earn this power? You're power hungry? I can't tell if he's power hungry or if he's just thinking that he's not, he obviously doesn't believe he's indoctrinated. He thinks that he's thought up this master genius plan all along and he's doing the right thing. He's on the right, he's on the right side of things, just like Saren. Saren thought that he was doing the right thing up until the very last moment. And yeah, he was power hungry, but he was also very indoctrinated. You didn't earn this power. It's not yours. You're playing with things you don't understand. With power, you shouldn't be able to use. Yeah. I don't believe that. If we can control it, why shouldn't it be ours? Because we're not ready. No. This is the way humanity must evolve. No. There's always another way. I've dedicated my life to understanding the Reapers, and I know with certainty the Crucible will allow me to control them. And then what? Yeah. Look at the power they wield. Look at what they can do. <laughs> oh my god. I see what they did to you. I took what I wanted from them. Made it my own. This isn't about me or you. It's about things so much bigger than all of us. He's wrong. Don't listen to him. And who will you listen to, Shepard? An old soldier stuck in his ways, only able to see the world down the barrel of a gun? And what if he's wrong? What if controlling the Reapers is the answer? And what if you're wrong? You're... <laughs> You're wrong. If we destroy the Reapers, this ends today. But if you can't control them... But I can! No. Are you willing to bet humanity's existence on it? I... 
No, it will work. You can't, can you? They won't let you do it. No! I'm in control! No one is telling me what to do! Listen to yourself! You're indoctrinated. No! No! The two of you so self-righteous. Do you think power like this comes easy? There are sacrifices. You sacrifice too much. Shepard, I... I only wanted to protect humanity. The Crucibles can control them. I know it can. I just... No, it's not too late. Let us go. We'll do the rest. I... Uh, I can't do that, Commander. Of course you can't. They own you now. You... You'd undo everything I've accomplished. I won't let that happen. Because of you, humanity is already undone. That's not true! They have the Citadel! They've got us fighting each other instead of fighting them! I just need to... You've done exactly what the Reapers wanted. You're still doing it because they control you. I... They're too strong. You're stronger! Don't let them win! Break their hold! Don't let them control you! <laughs> I tried, Shepard. Gonna be okay. Amanda? We did it. Yes, we did. It's uh, quite a view. <sighs> Best seats in the house. God. Feels like years since I just sat down. Thank you, earned a rest. Mm. Stay with me. We're almost through this. You did good, child. You did good. I'm proud of you.
Shepard? Commander. I, uh... What do you need me to do? Nothing's happening. The crystal's not firing. What? It's gotta be something on your end. What now? Commander Shepard. I don't see. I'm not sure how to... Oh my god, we're so weak. Is that the kid? Wake up. From our nightmare? What? Where am I? The Citadel. It's my home. What? Who are you? I am the Catalyst. The Citadel is the catalyst. No, the Citadel is part of me. I need to stop the Reapers. Do you know how I can do that? Perhaps I control the Reapers. They are my solution. Um, what? The solution to what? Chaos. It's the... the created will always rebel against their creators. But we, we found a way to stop, stop that from happening. A way to restore order. By wiping out organic life? No. We harvest advanced civilizations, leaving the younger ones alone. Just as we left your people alive the last time we were here. But you killed the rest. We help them ascend, so they can make way for new life, storing the old life in Reaper form. I think we'd rather keep our own form. Um, yeah. No, you can't. Without us to stop it, synthetics would destroy all organics. We've created the cycle so that never happens. That's the solution. This is insane. This little VI is, I'm guessing, what the Leviathan is talking about that they created many, many years ago to try to harness chaos. And this little child is what has been speaking to us through the Harbinger and controlling all of this, thinking that it's okay to wipe out entire civilizations so that they can make way for new ones? I'm mind blown a little bit. You'll never understand. We don't want to be preserved. Yeah, they. we don't need your input on what is and isn't chaos. I, if this is your definition of solving chaos, I'd rather just have chaos in life instead of what's happening over and over again to these life cycles. It's insane. This is not a solution. You said you're the catalyst, but what are you? A construct, an intelligence designed eons ago to solve a problem. 
I was created to bring balance, to be the catalyst for peace between organics and synthetics. So you're just an AI. In as much as you are just an animal, I embody the collective intelligence of all Reapers. But you were created. Correct. By who? By ones who recognized that conflict would always arise between synthetics and organics. I was first created to oversee the relations between synthetic and organic life, to establish a connection. But our efforts always ended in conflict, so a new solution was required. <laughs> the Reapers? Precisely. Yeah, the Leviathan. I don't know about you all, but this makes me really want to go back deep diving and just annihilate the Leviathan for letting it get out of hand this far. I mean, there's a whole debacle between the Corian and the Geth, and should the Geth have stayed alive because they were gaining intelligence and all of that, they weren't causing harm or finding solutions to chaos. They were just trying to help the Corians live life the way that they wanted to. So they deserve to be alive. But once the Leviathan discovered that this AI wanted to destroy entire civilizations over and over again, why didn't they stop it? Why didn't they try to turn it off? Or why didn't they realize before it got to this point that, hey, maybe we should turn off the AI or we should try to destroy it? It's, it's crazy. And it brings me back to my anger at the Leviathan when we first met them in the DLC about how they just went underwater and just stayed underwater and hid out the rest of their days down there. It's just, it's crazy. They're the main reason that this happened. They're the main reason that all of this has happened to humanity over and over again for forever now, for so many years, more than 50,000 years at this point. It's crazy. It's crazy and it's, it's a little bit maddening a bit. I remember doing the Leviathan DLC and feeling the same way, just anger, that they didn't try to do more to stop it. That there wasn't any, at least from the Leviathan when we talked to them, they didn't talk about trying to shut it down at all. They just said that it took over and that was that. It, they just hid away. They let it run rampant. And they didn't try to warn anybody. They're just staying below the below the sea, keeping this secret on how to destroy them for how many years? I mean, if they were the very first people or species, human, animal, to make this AI, they know about it. They've known about it for that long, for generations upon generations, as they just comfortably live underwater, tucked away. Knowing that above the sea level, this is happening to humanity over and over again. It's, it's so frustrating. I met your creators. They told me what you did to them. We, we did, did as we were expected. They said you betrayed them, that you turned them into Harbinger. When they asked that I solve the problem of conflict, they failed to understand they were part of the problem themselves. The flaws of their organic reasoning could not perceive this. They lacked the foresight to understand their destruction was part of the very solution they required. Well, they've joined this war now. And I welcome their involvement. I am only facilitating their request. This is crazy. This is so crazy. Where did the Reapers come from? Did you create them? My creators gave them form. I gave them function. They, in turn, give me purpose. The Reapers are a synthetic representation of my creators. Leviathan. Yes. They created me to oversee the relations between synthetic and organic life. To establish a connection. They became the first true Reaper.
They did not approve, but it was the only solution. You said that before, but how do the Reapers solve anything? Organics create synthetics to improve their own existence, but those improvements have limits. To exceed those limits, synthetics must be allowed to evolve. They must, by definition, surpass their creators. The result is conflict, destruction, chaos. It is inevitable. Reapers harvest all life, organic and synthetic, preserving them before they are forever lost to this conflict. How is this not conflict? I don't understand. How is this not chaos? How is this any better? We're at war with the Reapers right now. You may be in conflict with the Reapers, but they are not interested in war. <laughs> I find that hard to believe. When fire burns, is it at war? Is it in conflict? Or is it simply doing what it was created to do? We are no different. We harvest your bodies, your knowledge, your creations. We preserve it to be reborn in the form of a new reaper. Like a cleansing fire, we restore balance. New life, both organic and synthetic, can once again flourish. Oh man. I mean, the inner like putting myself into other people's shoes is coming out and kind of understanding where this is all coming from. In order for humanity to advance, in order for the Salarians to stop licking their eyeballs, in order for the Asari to become what they are meant to be, this, this had to happen. Otherwise, it would have moved much more slowly. Who knows where life would be right now if it weren't for the Reapers, but we didn't ask for our organic minds, our organic souls to be taken over like this. I don't think that if you sat down every single species that is alive and has a free thinking mind right now, that they would say, yeah, sure, you can take over our species so that another one can come about so that they can be advanced further down. It's not, that's not what life is. Life isn't about who can be more successful and what species can excel over the other and which one can make it the farthest and technology this and technology that. It's not about that. Life is about love. Life is about the people that you surround yourself with. Life is about the moments that you live in, the moments and the memories and family and love and being able to decide your life and what you want out of it and what you want out of the future generations to come. What do you know about the crucible? The device you refer to as the crucible is little more than a power source. However, in combination with the citadel and the relays, it is capable of releasing tremendous amounts of energy throughout the galaxy. It is crude, but effective and adaptive in its design. Who designed it? You would not know them, and there is not enough time to explain. What? We first noted the concept for this device several cycles ago. With each passing cycle, the design has no doubt evolved. Why didn't you stop it? We believe the concept had been eradicated. Clearly, organics are more resourceful than we realized. We're just trying to survive. You'll never understand us. I want to say both. We all just want to wake up the next day. And we all just want to live our life the way that we want to. We don't want to live it the way that synthetics want us to live our life. It's just, it's not like that. And I think I'm so mad at the Leviathan because uh, sure, they might have been overrun or whatever by the Reapers, but if they were the very first ones to create this AI and they created one Reaper, did you see how quickly that one Leviathan took down the one Reaper? It could have been taken care of so quickly. I don't understand. 
it could have been stopped so long ago. It's, it's, it could have been stopped. I don't understand why they let it get this far. They just sank down to the bottom of the sea and decided not to tell anybody about what was going on. They just kept letting it happen. And I just, I keep going back to that because it's really their fault. It's really their fault that there's this AI running vampant thinking that it can play God. It's awful. The defining characteristic of organic life is that we think for ourselves, make our own choices. You take that away, we might as well be machines just like you. You have choice more than you know. The fact that you were standing here, the first organic ever, proves it. But it also proves my solution won't work anymore. So now what? We find a new solution. Why are you telling me this? Why help me? You have altered the variables. <laughs> what do you mean? The crucible changed me, created new possibilities, but I can't make them happen. If there is to be a new solution, you must act. It is now in your power to destroy us. But be warned, others will be destroyed as well. The Crucible will not discriminate. All synthetics will be targeted. Even you are partly synthetic. What? What exactly will happen? Your Crucible device appears to be largely intact. However, the effects of the blast will not be constrained to the Reapers. Technology you rely on will be affected, but those who survive should have little difficulty repairing the damage. There will still be losses, but no more than what has already been lost. So it will end the war? But, like, I... I... oh... I've talked about this, too, in one of my theories, that it could be, like, a pulse that gets sent out that destroys all synthetic life but that puts us in danger and an ed in danger and everyone else that has synthetic in them it will be gone the mass relays will be destroyed humanity will be set back by a lot but the Reapers will be destroyed? Yes, but the peace won't last. Soon, your children will create synthetics, and then the chaos will come back. There has to be another way. There is. You could instead use the energy of the Crucible to seize control of the Reapers. So the elusive man was right after all. Yes, but he could never have taken control. Because we already controlled him. But I can? You will die. You will control us, but you will lose everything you have. I don't understand. How can I control the Reapers if I'm dead? Your corporeal form will be dissolved, but your thoughts and even your memories will continue. Your connection to your kind will be lost, though you will remain aware of their existence. Sounds awful. But I'll be able to control the Reapers? I don't think that... So I would be like the child. I would be like the Reapers now. I wouldn't be any better. But if I control the Reapers, I could help rebuild civilization. The relays wouldn't be destroyed. Humanity wouldn't be set back life would kind of go back to normal. I would just be a weird synthetic bot that controls all of the Reapers. But the Reapers will obey me? Yes. 
We will be yours to control and direct as you see fit. There is another solution. Synthesis. And that is? Add your energy to the crucibles. <clears throat> the chain reaction will combine all synthetic and organic life into a new framework. A new DNA. How? Explain how my energy can be added to the crucible. Your organic energy, the essence of who and what you are, will be broken down and then dispersed. To do what, exactly? The energy of the crucible, released in this way, will alter the matrix of all organic life in the galaxy. Organics seek perfection through technology. Synthetics seek perfection through understanding. Organics will be perfected by integrating fully with synthetic technology. Synthetics, in turn, will finally have full understanding of organics. It is the ideal solution. Now that we know it is possible, it is inevitable we will reach synthesis. Why couldn't you do it sooner? We have tried a similar solution in the past. But it has always failed. Why? Because the organics were not ready. It is not something that can be forced. You are ready, and you may choose it. So we would put our energy into this beam and what, everyone would be integrated with synthetic life? That's no way to live. I don't think anyone, that feels very violating of everybody. That feels very, very bad. I don't agree with that at all. I don't think I would ever make that decision for other people. You're asking me to change everything, everyone. I can't make that decision. I won't. Yeah. Why not? Synthetics are already part of you. Can you imagine your life without them? Yeah, it's but... beside the point. Yeah, it's... No. Your time is at an end. You must decide. I reject these choices, then let's end it. What happens if I reject? Will it just kill everybody, probably? I feel like I have to make a choice. This is such a huge decision. I'm trying to out, I'm trying to weigh the pros and cons. I'm obviously not gonna choose synthetic because I don't believe that I should just force people to be integrated with synthetic life. That's not the point. That's why we're fighting the Reapers now to keep our organic form, to, to keep our soul and our body and our mind. And if I chose synthetic, then everyone would be no, that sounds so violating. I'm kind of not really opposed to what the elusive man wanted to achieve to begin with. As he kind of came in and out of being the elusive man, indoctrinated elusive man, and into his normal self, you could see the panic. He, he does want to advance humanity. He wants to... He wants the best for humanity, even if what he was doing at the time was questionable in every aspect. But how much of that was indoctrination? How much of that was him? I don't know. I don't think we'll ever know. But if we were to upload ourselves into the system and control the Reapers and have them listen and obey us, then we could help humanity advance even further. And then down the line, there wouldn't be this question of creating an AI that wants to solve chaos because we would be that. But is that a life for Shepard? I wouldn't want to sign up for that, but I feel like we wouldn't set back humanity. The mass relays wouldn't be destroyed. Edie would survive. Everyone else that has synthetics in them would survive. And I want to make a decision. Let's get this over with. I'm not sure Do what. Do what you must. I'm not sure what decision yet, but. 
Oh my god, this is awful. This is crazy. Oh, I don't know what to do. A part of me really wants to destroy them because I feel like that's what Anderson would have done. Is that what this... The Anderson, like, blip of him shooting that side was? That he would do that? But it would set back humanity so far. Everyone that is in this system would be trapped here for whoever knows how long until... <sighs> and then if I chose to do what the elusive man originally set out to do, am I any better than the Reapers? Am I any better than synthetic AI telling me what to do? I would just be telling them what to do. I would be the one indoctrinating people. Or indoctrinating the Reapers, at least. The Banshees that were created and the Husks that were created. Oh my god, I don't know what to do. If I was Anderson, if I was Hackett, what would I do? I don't think I can play. I can't play God. That's not our decision to make. That's not what we set out here to do. We were set out to destroy the Reapers. We were set out to destroy... I just don't want Edie to die, and I don't... I know we're probably gonna die, too. But I feel like it's the right choice. I don't think that by picking the other side, I, I just... That's not our decision to make. That's not... We were set out here to destroy the Reapers once and for all. Who cares if the next generation creates something? Hopefully, they will be smarter than the Leviathan and destroy it when we know that we... Oh, I'm so, like... I'm so torn right now. Because the Geth are gonna die, too, and Legion's a part of the Geth, and... a hard decision. <laughs> All fleets, the crucible is armed. Disengage and head to the rendezvous point. Well, the Normandy's gonna crash. I repeat, disengage and get the hell out of here. Jeff, we need to go. <laughs> Damn it.
like it was the right choice. Because what is the life of a husk if I was to control them? What would we do with them? We can't play God like that. It's better if they're all gone. set out to do since the very beginning. so torn on if that was the right decision or not. I feel like it just, it's, it's not fair. I wish there was another way. All three of the options sucked. some crazy jungle. have been defeated. Against all odds and in the face of the greatest threat this galaxy has ever known, we survived. We suffered many losses. The relays are severely damaged, but we won. This victory belongs to each of us, every man, woman, and child every civilization, on every world. Oh, <laughs> Samara and 
their daughter. <laughs> Kazim. <laughs> Now, as we take our first steps toward restoring what we lost, we must remember what it took to win. Friend. Aww. This wasn't a victory by a single fleet, a single army, or even a single species. If this war has taught us anything, it is that we are at our strongest when we work together. And if we can put down our grievances long enough to stop something as powerful as the Reapers, imagine what we can achieve now that they are defeated. It will take time, but we can rebuild everything that was destroyed. Our homes, our worlds, our fleets and defenses, all of this and more. Wow. Together, we can build a future greater than any one of us could imagine. A future paid for by the sacrifices of those who fought and died alongside us. A future that many will never see. And while we still have many challenges ahead of us, we can face them together. And we will honor those who died to give us that future. We just take a breath. What? Oh my gosh. If we come back to life again, <laughs> that's just wild. Oh man. I feel like I picked the wrong ending until that last bit where Hackett was talking and I. I feel like the other way, taking over control of the Reapers, I wouldn't have been happy with that ending. I just don't, I would have made me kind of sick to my stomach playing God like that. I don't think that it was the best choice. And I also don't agree with the synthetic choice of kind of the same thing, just making everyone be part synthetic and conjoining and living as one. It sounds good on paper, but when you think about it, People aren't asking for that. There would no longer be normal humanity. Nothing would be the same. Plus that AI child was saying that it was the most, the, the best choice or however they worded it. I was kind of like starting to black out there because I was just so angry at the Leviathan that they let it get this far and, and they didn't bother trying to warn civilization about it throughout all of the times that they were taking over and doing this. It's crazy. Oh, man. I'm so 
sad that I'm done with the trilogy. <laughs> I can't believe that it's the end. I just... I can't believe it that it's over. It was such a fun ride. I feel like I've thought about things and learned things and had amazing discussions about things that I would never even think about in my day-to-day -day life. <laughs> I think that this trilogy will forever stick with me and be something that I think about randomly. I was very moved by everything in this game. It was so well put together. The character development was amazing. Being able to make choices and having to live with those choices. Some days, I'm not gonna lie, it was hard to log in and know that it might be a rough day. <laughs> I remember my first feeling of that was back in Mass Effect 1 on, on Novaria and knowing that I messed up and that I could potentially kill Rex. And we made it. We obviously didn't end up killing him, but it was rough there for a while. I thought that we weren't going to make it. And there were some times where I would log in and some of the comment section would get to me. And I think I learned a lot about how to be a YouTuber and a content creator just through this playthrough. And I got to thank you guys so much for for everything, the good, the bad, the ugly, all of it. I know that I made decisions here that some of you might not have made and are against or just never in your wildest dreams would have thought to make. And I understand that, I really do. And some of the people were, you know, not very nice about it, but it did, I feel like it helped me grow as a content creator because I am a very empathic person and I kind of learned how to not be as like as upset about my choices in this game and it helped me grow a lot. I know that sounds really silly, but but it's the truth and I wouldn't take back any second of this game. The good, the bad and the ugly. I wouldn't take back any of it. So thank you guys so much for giving me this experience too. And I'm just glad to know that a lot of you out there enjoyed this playthrough as much as you did. So for anyone that was here from day one, or maybe if you're new or you just came in during Mass Effect 3, thank you for sticking it out with me and for holding my hand through this playthrough because you guys know how community focused I am. I love hanging out in the comments with you all and it's just been such a great ride. It's been the best ride. And I wouldn't take it back. I wouldn't take back anything that happened during this playthrough. It was all amazing. All right, guys, I think I'm going to kind of sign out as we watch the end credits here. I just want to say thank you one more time to everyone that has been a part of this playthrough with me right alongside. I just I'm speechless at the at the amount of engagement that you all have given me during this playthrough. The good, the bad and the ugly, <laughs> all of it. I know that I made some choices that other people might not have made or that you guys don't agree with necessarily, but Honestly, I think every part of this journey was was amazing. And as I've heard it in the comment section multiple times, it was my shepherd. And I've made choices that I thought my shepherd would make every single day that I came in to sign on. And I, I wouldn't do it any other way. This was the best playthrough <laughs> that I could have asked for. And even though the ending seemed a little bit sucky, I felt like all of the choices really none of them I really wanted. I'm gonna have to go back and watch the other endings and let you all know how I feel about them. I could do a reaction to them if you wanted me to in a future video. I also have a couple future videos about Mass Effect that I wanted to put out. One of them is an anime, James anime, a reaction to that. So I don't mind making more reactions on Mass Effect mass effect stuff because i just love being in this world so if you all have any videos that you want me to react to please let me know and i will be more than happy to react to some of the different choices that we've made here or maybe some of the gamer poop ones whatever that is did that all really happen yes but some of the details have been lost in time it all happened so very long ago. 
When can I go to the stars? One day, my sweet. What will be there? Anything you can imagine. Our galaxy has billions of stars. Each of those stars could have many worlds. Every world could be home to a different form of life. And every life is a special story of its own. Tell me another story about the shepherd. It's getting late, but okay. One more story. Congratulations on bringing an end to the Reaper threat. I like how this is from the Mass Effect team. It's like our own personal message from them. <laughs> Commander Shepard has become a legend. From here, you can continue to build that legend. It's been a long journey for Shepard and for the team here at BioWare. And like Shepard, we couldn't have done it alone. The Mass Effect trilogy began as a vision of a small team, but over the years, it has grown. That growth has been fueled and shaped by the feedback and support of our player community. Thank you for joining us on this journey. We look forward to sharing further adventures with you in the Mass Effect universe. The Mass Effect team. Are we able to talk to everyone again? Wait, what? Oh, it starts me back at Priority Cerberus. Oh my gosh. Well, you know what that means. We can do our sign off in our normal sign off, please. <laughs> One last time. All right, everyone, that's it for today. I got choked up saying that a little bit because I'm not ready. I'm not ready to be done in Mass Effect. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for all the love to these videos. I appreciate it so much in more ways than you guys could could even know. I've met so many amazing people along this journey. I feel like that last scene in the very end was a little bit weird. I don't really know what to think about that. Um, I guess it's just an older man talking to his child or grandchild about Shepard, which is interesting, but it kind of seems as if they can't like travel or do anything, maybe because the mass relays aren't brought back. But in the other flashback, it showed the Citadel fully reformed and London fully reformed. So I don't know. I thought that was kind of strange a little bit. Overall, I feel like the endings were OK. I didn't really love the choice that I made, but out of the other two, it seemed like the right one. It seemed like the choice that Anderson would make. It seemed like the choice that Hackett would make. I think that they would be proud of us for making that decision. Instead of trying to play God or instead of forcing synthetics into organics, it just neither of the other options felt right. I was convinced that maybe I could play God, that maybe it could be better for the future of humanity and that we would be able to keep technology and advance it even further if I was able to play that role, but it just made me feel strange thinking about that. It made me feel like back when I was making the decision about the genophage and if it should be cured or if it shouldn't and all of that stuff, it was just, it wasn't my decision to make. It wasn't my decision to make with the genophage. It wasn't my decision to make with if we should merge synthetic life with organics. It wasn't my decision to make if I should play God and be in charge of the Reapers, but the decision to fight and destroy the Reapers was what we have been set out to do since we first stepped foot into Mass Effect. And we did what we set out to do. We, we fulfilled our mission to its fullest and we put on our big commander pants today and we did what we had to do to destroy the Reapers. Overall, I am happy with the choice that I made. I want to see the other endings just to see. And I'm also very interested in the control over the reapers and seeing if how that ending even plays out but i am overall happy with my ending i don't think that i could have done it any other way i don't think that it was our decision to do it any other way but you all know how i feel about this trilogy 
I've said it time and time again how in love I am with Mass Effect and this entire world. This is not my last time in this game. I will be back many, many times, <laughs> even if it isn't on YouTube. I just want to thank you all again one last time for all of the love to these videos, all of the good, all of the bad, all of the ugly, all of it. It was a ride that I will never forget. So I hope this isn't the last time that I'm seeing some of you guys on this channel. I am planning on hopping into Detroit Become Human next, starting next week, and hopefully getting a Dragon Age playthrough started sometime soon. So if you guys are interested in any of these games, or if you just want to stick around and love the community here, please remember to hit like and subscribe. I'm just happy that so far all of you guys have hit like and subscribe to this point. It means the world to me that there are people in the community that are already part of our membership and that have already called this place home because that is ultimately the reason I decided to be a content creator so that we can bond over amazing games, talk about things that are interesting in them and use this little cozy place of the internet to hang out with one another. So thank you guys for making this place amazing throughout the trilogy and I look forward to hopefully seeing you all in another video. Bye everyone.